What's up, Warpath? We are back with another exciting video today. Guys, we are bringing you another 5.1 update video. Uh, we are on the test server. Uh, full disclosure, just like I always do, uh, anytime I am on this test server and on this test account, this is not a real account. This is not a real active live server, guys. I've been granted access to this server by Lilith. It does have everything unlocked. Um, it is, again, it is a test server. It is not my real account. I do not own this account. This is not a live server. This is simply just so I can bring you guys the most updated, accurate, and entertaining content uh, regarding everything 5.1 update related for Warpath. So with that being said, I just want to get that out of the way up front. And today, with that being said, we are going to be discussing uh, something new uh, with the new unit, with, not with new unit parts, but that's going to be a new system for unit parts. So with that being said, we are going to jump right into it. All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to go ahead and talk about the new uh, ground part mechanic system, okay? This is going to be a new system uh, that is entirely new to parts, and what it's basically going to do for super simple terms is it's going to take the part that you've got, uh, wh whatever, whatever tier of part it is, right? Gold, gold plus, gold plus plus, and it's going to give you the opportunity to improve the statistics on that specific part. The first question that comes to mind for a lot of you guys is, well, okay, so if I've got a gold plus part, does that mean that I can essentially buff the stats up to be a gold plus plus caliber? And does that take away the importance of a gold plus plus blueprint or part? No, you can increase the stats of your part pretty considerably. However, and does not remove the importance of having obviously gold plus plus parts because you're improving the statistics on the statistics that the part has already as a baseline. Does that make sense, guys? So with that being said, the better the part, the better the, the bonuses are going to actually come into play and how they're, they're actually going to help you, all right? So we've got ground part mechanics here, okay? So what we're going to do... Uh, and I've already started it a little bit. I wanted to at least get a baseline understanding uh, before doing this video, but I'm, I'm still very uh, new to this. So we're going to walk through this together and see exactly how this system is going to play. So I've got a 7.2 medium here, okay? And this is obviously going to work and apply on all of your units, uh, whether they're legacy units or modern units, uh, as well as all parts. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on our part here. We don't have a part we did. I disassembled it so we could uh, do it and walk through this together on this video. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a uh, gun here. Okay, so we've crafted our gun. Okay, we're going to go ahead and equip that. Okay, we're going to go over here to the engine. We're going to go ahead and craft that. Equip here. Okay, let's go to suspension. Let's go ahead and make this. And when I did this before I made this video, guys, I only did this using the gun part. I did not do this make using any of the other parts, the maintenance supplies, uh, or anything like that. So we are going to walk through this, like I said, together, and we are going to learn uh, together on this video. Uh, so we're going to make our last maintenance supply part here. Okay. Okay, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and equip this. Okay. All right, so we've got our parts made, all right? So we're going to click here and we're going to see exactly what these ground part mechanics are. So this unit's part mechanic can increase the HP or health and firepower bonuses of its equipped parts. All right. So what we've got to do is we got to click on the up arrow here and you guys can see bonuses for all part slots. OK, we're going to get one percent and then extra part slot bonus. We're going to get. 0.30%. So I'm not extra part slot bonus. Not entirely sure what that means. So let's go ahead and click here. Increases health, HP, 
and firepower bonuses of all of this unit's equipped parts. Extra part slot bonus is increases the HP and firepower bonuses for this unit's medium tank, gun, medium engine, and suspension part slots. Okay, so if I'm understanding that right, so the three main parts, our gun, our engine, and our suspension are going to get the extra part slot bonus, okay, meaning this down here. Uh, and we're going to test it after this just to see, because obviously you guys can see it's a Liberty Medium tank, and we've got Liberty parts on it. So what we're going to do just to test this is we're going to make a, maybe make a Vanguard gun, engine, and suspension, and see if we still get these bonuses here, uh, because they're technically not camp-specific parts. Uh, but I think that is where those are technically being applied, if I'm understanding that correctly, because over here on Maintenance Supply, uh, you guys can see we've got this uh, screwdriver and wrench situation here uh, with the 19% bonus, uh, but just like we do here, but we do not have the actual Liberty bonus because their maintenance applies, not camp specific parts. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to click here, okay? And you guys can see uh, to upgrade, it's going to need these new wrenches, okay? So we upgraded, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So it appears that every two upgrades you do, it goes up by one, uh, nope, now it starts. So for the first, it appears 30 levels or so. Uh, it goes up 100 wrenches every two levels, maybe, uh, if I'm understanding that correctly. Uh, and then from there, every one, it jumps up 200 uh, and then 300 and scales from there. So it gets pretty considerable. All right, let's take a look at the part mechanic. Okay, so obviously... Uh, level 34 but let's go let's go uh here to the top all the way to level one and let's do a comparison at level one uh bonuses for all part slots is going to be a one percent bonus uh to the whatever statistics that your parts uh are and then the extra part slot bonus is going to be 0.3 percent so let's scroll down here all the way down and we're going to see how many levels this actually goes and the statistics on those levels so let's get all the way down here. Okay, so we can go all the way up to level 100. At level 100, we're going to get 195% bonus uh, for all part slots. Uh, and then at level 100, we're going to get a 65% increase for extra part slot bonuses. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just take this bad boy all the way to 100 and see exactly uh, what we're working with here and i'm wondering okay let's get let's get all the way to 100 and then i'm going to point this uh out for you guys uh and we're going to take a look at it okay so we're to 100 um it says spent armored armor uh whatever spent wrenches will be refunded when resetting this unit okay so we've got 195 percent and 65% like we anticipated. But if you guys saw as we were leveling it up, we had the percentage over here and then we had an additional green percentage over here. Uh, and I'm wondering if that was due to the fact of it being a camp specific uh, part. I'm not entirely sure because some parts may be camp specific, others may not be. So we're gonna, again, like I said, we're gonna test this out on a different unit. Um, and we're, we're gonna walk through this. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we've got a 260% bonus, 195 here, 260% bonus, okay? I guess that's maybe because it's a camp specific. Okay, so the camp specific, that's just the 30% standard buff. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding this, okay? So the 30%, I thought that was going to come into play somewhere, but that's just a standard 30% bonus on top of the baseline statistics uh, that you guys will get um, for it being a camp specific part, assuming it is, if it's not, you won't get those, uh, additional 30%, uh, bonus attributes or whatever. Uh, but okay. Now I'm understanding it. Okay. Okay. So we've got the 260% is coming from, because you can see 260, 260 and 195 and 195. So the 195 is the bonus for all part slots, right? And then the extra part slot bonus is the additional 65. That's where we're getting the total of 260, 260 versus the baseline for all parts of 195. However, I'm not entirely sure why the medium suspension does not show any buffs because it sh it said that uh, bonus for all parts, extra part slot bonus for 
gun, engine, and suspension, but yet we don't have anything here. Uh, so that's interesting. Okay, all right, let's do this. Let's back out of here. I wanna scroll down. And I want to do this again, but we are going to do this on a um, we're going to do this on a martyrs medium. Okay, 7.2. Let's get that to level 200. I'm going to max it out on modifications just to make sure we cover all of our bases. Okay, good there. Ba Boom. Okay, let us do its thing. Okay. Now let's go into parts. So now here, here's what I want to do. We haven't used any of these wrenches here on this. So we've got a Martyrs uh, medium tank here. So I want to go in and let's go ahead and let's make Vanguard parts for this. And we're going to see how this uh, stacks up and see if the camp, if it being a camp specific part, affects it pretty drastically or not. So we're going to equip. Let's go here. We're going to make all Vanguard parts for this Martyrs medium tank here. Okay, let's go ahead and make one, let's do, and do this, and then we're going to do our maintenance supplies again just to see how uh, it compares. Equip here. All right, one more uh, maintenance supply to go. Equip that. Okay, so we've got our we've got our all our part slots uh, filled here. But you guys can see we've got a martyrs medium uh, with all vanguard parts. So let's go ahead. Let's take this all the way up. So we've got the green right away. I can see we've got our baseline statistics. Uh, okay. So that's what that is. That would make sense. So this is not actually if it was a camp specific part like I originally thought it was. This is just showing the increase in statistics. Uh, or showing the increased percentage that we will get for the next additional level we'll, we're going to be going to. So that we're going from 10 to 11, we're going to increase 1% here and 0.3% here. So that makes more sense. Okay, so that doesn't have anything to do with it being a camp-specific part or not, and it's not an additional bonus if it is a camp-specific part. So that's good to know. Let's go ahead and run this all the way up to level 100, and then we are going to... Take a look. All right. Okay. We're to 100. All righty. So now we've got the 195 again, and we have got the 65 again. Okay, so we same situation. We've got 260 here, 260 here, 195 here, 195 here. So the maintenance supplies are never going to get the extra part slot bonuses. However, for the tank gun, for the engine, we've got the 260, 260, but we still don't have anything for the suspension. I'm not sure if that's actually accurate or if that is maybe just a bug or a glitch on the test server here i'm not entirely sure but it is at least showing on two different units and on two different parts from two different camps that we do not get the statistic here and obviously with these being a martyrs unit with vanguard parts we do not get the uh, same camp uh, part bonuses that we would get either so we've got 260 260 so it seems like it adds up uh, so those statistics from the wrench, uh, these wrenches are going to apply regardless of if you've got a camp specific part or not. So that is at least nice uh, for sure. Um, and then again, the maintenance supplies uh, are always just going to get the bonus for all part slots. They're never going to get the extra part slot bonus. Uh, so with that being said, um, let's see. I did try when I tried it the first time to get an understanding before I actually started recording this video. I try to go take these parts uh, and move them to modern units uh, to convert them. They would not convert. So actually, let's start here because I'm pretty sure uh, that you have to have your parts removed before you can convert. But let's try it because it was not letting me convert uh, earlier. Uh, so we have got, it's not showing we've actually got anything. Uh, so make and convert. Click on it. Okay, it's still not letting me do it. So let's go down here. Let's go all the way back uh, to our... 7.2 Liberty medium version 
Okay, we're going to remove the parts. And we're going to see if that might allow us to convert or not. Because I would like to see if these statistics, uh, I guess they would technically apply. But I would like to see if they're going to apply the statistics that we're going to get from the bonuses uh, from the, the base version, right? The legacy version. And then take that number with the bonuses included, convert it, and then let us do it again for additional bonus or if it's just going to reset it to its baseline statistics when you convert, and then you can bring it up again from there. Uh, so that would be interesting to see. So let's, we've got them removed. So we've got one of one, you guys can see that here. Let's go ahead and click convert. We've got all the material uh, and it's not letting me actually convert it. So I'm not entirely sure why it's not letting me convert it. I don't know if it's like a bug or whatever in this test server. Uh, so unfortunately guys, uh, I'm not able to actually convert this uh, and see how those statistics play out on a modern unit. Um, so I apologize for that, but at least you guys know um, why I cannot, and it is not because uh, I just chose not to or I didn't think about it. Um, it is just not actually letting me do it. We'll try it with one other part though, just to confirm, we'll try it with the engine and see if maybe that will work. Let's try to convert it and it's still nothing. It's still not letting me convert. So we won't be able to try that out. Once I obviously get for sure information, once it actually comes live, uh, I will, I will of course be updating you guys on how that exactly is going to work. But with that being said, that is going to be the new, uh, parts system. Um, that's going to be the new parts system, uh, that you guys are going to be able to, uh, use. Now, with that being said, we did, obviously you just saw a pack come up. Um, you guys can get 50,000 of these armor wrenches for hundred bucks. Uh, I don't know. I assume you guys get that, uh, if you start using the parts or whatever, uh, but let's jump over here. Let's go into VIP store because this is where you're actually going to be able to quickly, uh, build up these wrenches, uh, especially if you're free to play. All right. So there is going to be a couple of different ways you can do this. So you can, uh, get these 300 wrenches. You can buy that, this, this pack of 300, 10 times, uh, for 1.26 million steel. Uh, for each one, you can come down here. You can do the same thing for 1200 gold, get 500 per buy. Uh, and then you can do it one more time. You get a thousand of them, uh, for 1800. So there are ways to, to, to get these wrenches and to get them, uh, for free, essentially through in-game currency, whether it's in-game resources or, uh, gold. But that being said, guys, it's going to add a new dynamic to this, uh, game, right? And now we're, it's starting to get to the point where we've all got to be very selective or very strategic about what we're wanting to do, right? Because we've got to have gold to allocate to the refined components, right? We've got to have gold uh, allocated if you want ammo, whether it's ground force ammo, air force ammo, whatever it is, uh, coupons, uh, armor wrenches, whatever it is, migration tickets. There's a, obviously a whole host of things that you guys could benefit from from the VIP, VIP store, but you just have to be smart uh, and be strategic and prioritize what makes the most sense for you uh, with your gold. I would say, honestly, my first thought here uh, makes me think that I would probably prioritize, if you're gonna use these wrenches, uh, they're probably not gonna be a priority for me. I mean, I think they're gonna help, definitely, I really do, uh, but they're not something that I would like stress about having or not having necessarily, at least out of the gate. Uh, but when you guys do start wanting to invest in some of these parts, I would say be selective about the parts that you invest in, right? And and select the parts uh, that are going to make the most sense to you and the parts that are also going to be the most beneficial uh, to you and your unit, right? So let's say, let's go back down here. I just want to use this uh, as an example. Um, so let's say, let's say, for example, let's go here to our Liberty Medium, okay? Uh, let's say I have got a uh, medium Liberty camp gun. I have got the Vanguard engine. Um, yep. Uh, and let's say I've got the Vanguard engine. Okay, right. So let's say I'm in a situation where I'm like, oh, I'm okay. I want to start investing in some wrenches here. I want to figure out what I want to prioritize, right? And you've got five units, of course. Uh, so with that being said, I would say start off with maybe the uh, part that is camp specific, our gun, right? Um use your gun, you know, buff up your gun as much as you can because it's camp specific. So the, the statistics of that part are going to increase even more, uh, with the camp specific bonuses that you're going to get versus the two, uh, parts that are not camp specific. Uh, so you can take it that approach. Uh, you can do it through that approach or what you can do is something like the super heavy, right? I don't have any parts made for the super heavy, but the super heavy is based on, uh, 
tanking and survivability and durability and things like that. So let's say we've got our gun, our armor, our heavy tank, right? Let, really the gun, I mean, sure, if it's on base defense or whatever, if you happen to catch somebody out in the field driving by your base or whatever, sure, the gun is helpful. Uh, but most people are interested in the super heavy because of its durability and tanking ability. So maybe on uh, a super heavy, you want to prioritize a uh, some of the armor or some of the uh, suspension to, in to further increase its uh, durability and survivability and all of those things when it's actually uh, tanking a base. So you can take it a couple of different approaches, but I just wouldn't stress out about this too much, guys. Uh, and I wouldn't um, just go gung ho. I would be, I would just, but what I'm saying is I would just be smart and be selective on which parts you actually decide to invest wrenches into uh, and make sure it's going to be able to maximize uh, your investment in those parts. Uh, so with that being said, guys, I do appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, for those of you guys that have stuck around uh, this far in the video, if you guys have enjoyed this video, have found it helpful, uh, please do go ahead and hit that like button if you have not already. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and are not already subscribed, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as it does help me out tremendously. And then as always, uh, if you guys do have access to Discord, uh, the link to our community Discord is going to be in the pinned comment below on this video as well as in the description of this video. Uh, if you guys do have access to Discord and want to come be a part of the community server, uh, we would love to have you guys. We've got people all across Warpath and all different servers, all different alliances. It's an awesome time over there. We would love for you guys to join us. And with that being said, guys, I appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on the next one.